if I asked you, do you, do you like Saul, you would probably give me a, uh, a not so simple answer because it just depends how much. Right? People, flies, like low salt and don't like high salt. And what's interesting about trying to understand the salt response is that it's really quite different from other taste senses like sweet, which is always attractive, and if you have more sugar, you're even more attracted to it. And then there are aversive chemicals that are bitter, and the how aversive a bitter compound is is just strictly dependent on how much you're presented with, but salt is different. What we found is there are different neurons that are responding to low salt, and then there's some neurons that respond to high salt, and depending on how much salt you're exposed to, there's a competition and one wins and the other loses. So if you have a low amount of salt that maximally activated, activates the low salt activated gustatory receptor neurons or GRNs, and if you have a high amount of salt that maximally activates the, the, averse, the neurons when activated cause an aversive response. So there's really a competition because the low salt activated neurons are also activated to a much lesser degree to high salt, and the high salt activated neurons are activated to a much lesser degree than low salt. So at low salt, the competition is won by the attractive neurons, and high salt, the competition is won by the aversive neurons. The IR76B turns out not only to be important in the salt response, but the way that it functions in the salt response is really interesting because instead of having a gate that opens and closes this ion channel, mm -hmm. the gate is always open. And the way it works is that when the animals, in this case the flies, are exposed to low salt, then the extracellular sodium concentration, which is low in this case, normally it's not low in the, in, in the areas surrounding cells, but in this case it's low, so that salt exposure in food causes the salt concentration outside the cells to go up enough to drive sodium into the cells down a uh, basically a diffusion gradient and that's what activates the uh, neurons. These animals are really also models for insect pests that spread disease and so we really want to understand the basic mechanisms by which these insects respond to changes in, in temperature, gustatory and olfactory cues as a way of controlling insect pests that spread disease. In, in the case of salt taste, where once we understand the mechanisms of attractive and aversive salt, we can actually use this type of information in general to potentially engineer baits with uh, uh, toxic chemicals to get rid of uh, insect pests that either increase their attraction to a chemical so they'll eat the bait or reduce the aversive response so that they won't stay away.